Hi my Capricorns, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your general tarot card reading for <clears throat> Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising for August 2017. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, check out my website, jamiezebra23.com. Um, my readings are $25, $50, and $75. Um, I do your readings within 24 to 72 hours after payment is received. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your reading the same day. I also have a $5 one question, one answer via email only. I have um, kits for love, money, and protection that I can ship out to you. I've also got um, spells for love, money, and protection. All of that will be in the description box. Um, so I, um, I pulled a, a card from each of these uh, two decks, plus you got your 10 card spread of the Rider weight. So I'm using um, the Romance uh, Angel cards from Dorian Virtue, and I'm using the Indigo Angels from Dorian Virtue. So... Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So you may have met somebody or someone may have met you that's cross-watching and are very interested in you, Capricorn. I like it. Also, we got stay. For some of you, you need to you need to stay in a vibration or stay at a level. Um, um, you need you need to stay either out of the out of the mix, out of the drama, because you see how the angels are just sitting there on the cloud. Um, some of you need to, um, some of you have had a change of heart uh, when it comes to, you know, dark stuff or negative things. You guys have decided that that's not the way to go. But some of you were so used to being negative that now that you're trying to go positive, you know, the negativity is trying to pull you back. It's saying stay where you're at. If you're changing your life for the better, stay where you're at. Keep, continue on that path. Don't, um, don't, uh, you know, go back down, don't go back down the hill. Continue to go up, up the hill. Um. Also, some of you, um, do you see how, like, usually people call the angels in to come help them? It's saying stay. So for some of you, um, you need to stay out of a situation. Or if you're cross-watching, maybe you need to stay out of the situation of a Capricorn. Okay. Or leave a situation alone. Just stop what you're doing. Also, okay, so Capricorn, I'm going to stop the video midway through because I want this to upload quickly. So I'm going to do two parts for everybody's readings. So we got the Seven of Pentacles upright. We got the Queen of Wands upright. We got the Knight of Swords upright. We've got the Emperor upright. We've got the Six of Swords upright. We got the Four of Swords upright. We got the Ten of Swords upright. We got the Tower card. We got the Five of Wands. We got the Three of Wands. So this is what we got going on. Um, there could be a fellow um, Earth sign from your past, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo that's pining away from you. They're missing you. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. They're thinking about you. They're not taking action, but they are thinking about you. For others of you, work. Um, you're starting to see your crops grow again. There was a standstill for a while, but now things are starting to move in your favor. Things are things are moving for the better. I feel like for a lot of you, um, you're some of, for some of you, this is either you or a fellow Earth sign, Capricorn, or Taurus, or a Virgo. You're having regrets as to not seeing in the picture because you're watching your children grow from a distance. Or you're watching positive changes happen in a life that you used to have. A life that you're no longer involved in. Then we got the Queen of Wands, which could be the King of Wands. This could be a man or a woman. Um, fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. This could be their energy, or this just could be um, their sun, moon, or rising. Um... This, uh, this Queen of Wands is in, in the upright. Um, I feel like this Queen of Wands is looking towards a future with you. Um, king or Queen is looking towards a future with you. I feel like this person, um, this person may be from your past, and this person has moved on. So if Capricorn, if you are longing for a fire sign, this fire sign may have moved on because it, it looks like they're looking towards the past. Some of them are looking to move on with you, and some are, are looking to move on without you, Capricorn. Then you have an air sign from your past, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. This could be their sun, moon, or rising, or their energy. They're, they're kind of angry with you, so they could be charging in. So be careful not to piss off an air sign, because it looks like they're out for blood, out for revenge. Also, the emperor is here. So this is stability, aid, and protection. I feel like for some of you, um, you either pretended to be this, or somebody pretended to be this for you. Somebody, somebody was a frenemy. Somebody pretended to be your friend and then they fucked you over or you pretended to be somebody else's friend and you fucked them over. Um, so now this person, you're going to have to deal with their wrath or they're going to have to deal with your wrath, Capricorn. Somebody, I feel like this was in a work setting. Somebody that um, maybe you guys used to do dirt together. Maybe you guys were stealing together, drugging together. You guys were doing something together. 
So you're both just as guilty, but I feel like the other party threw you under the bus and is like saying you, 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 or you're throwing the other party under the bus saying them, them, them. So I'm going to do part two now.